Hey, Mrs. Peterson here with the next part, part two of a snowman animation. All right, we're just gonna make a GIF here. So three or four, unless you wanna be really uh, adventurous, you could do more than three or four. So the first thing I have to do, or I have to continue to do is build my basic snowman. So I was able to switch into Photoshop and then I was able to label my layers. So I am on my mid layer and right above it I have two layers because I want to put arms but I want them separate. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to use the pen tool. I'm going to use the polygon lasso tool and I'm going to make my arms. Okay, and it's just going to stick out and kind of remember it's kind of a stick, right? Bring that down and across. I'm gonna fill that in with one of my browns and I think I'm going to choose this medium brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab that medium brown and fill it with the fill tool. There we go. And deselect and I'm gonna go to this side right here. This will be my right arm right and this one down here is my left arm I want to know what that is when I start animating all right so here's my right arm and I'm gonna go ahead and use this polygon lasso tool one two three four five six seven and it's whimsical and it's a stick so it doesn't have to be perfect right and I'm going to fill that again with the color that I already have chosen, which is I've chosen the light brown there. Right? Deselect Command D or Control D. And those are my funny little arms. And I want to be able to move them. And that's why I have them uh, on different layers. Now on my middle layer, I'm going to go ahead and put some buttons on here. Okay, so I am on my mid layer right here and I'm going to go ahead and make the buttons and I'm going to use this freedom form pen tool and I'm just going to make my little coal out of that. There's one. I'm going to selection and fill it and I'm going to fill that with the black. There's my black. And those buttons are going to stay stationary. They are not going to move from this guy. They're always going to be on that guy. All right. I just deselected. But my arms, I do want to be able to move them. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, make the face. And um, I have the option of making it so the, the mouth can change. But I think I'll just leave, leave him smiling. But I'm going to go ahead and do some eyes made of coal and uh, and the uh, mouth made of coal. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm using the freeform tool. You could use the curvature pen tool. You could use the pen tool. You could use the lasso tool. Let's use the lasso tool on this one, right? There's one eye. Lasso tool. I'm using shift. There's my other eye. Now I'm going to do the smile. One, these are smaller pieces. Two, three. I have the shift held down right here. Four, and five. There's my snowman. That was actually way easier than the freeform pen tool using that lasso tool. And now I'm going to fill it with black and watch what happens when I fill it. It just fills the ones that I made. Deselect, Command D, or Control D. And now I have my basic snowman. It's having a little bit of a bad day. Not a bad, horrible day, but a little bit of a bad day. And I'm going to use the pen tool to make my, um, my nose. Now I'm actually going to start making the nose on a different layer and I'm going to show why. 
All right. So um, this time I'm going to use the, what do I want to use? Well, let's see what happens if I use the lasso tool. I've got an idea. I'm going to make it sort of round on one side and then I'm going to scallop it out because I want, there it is. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. Okay. I have it on my layer seven, so I'm going to call this uh, uh, nose yellow. Right. So I'm going to fill this one with yellow. So let's go ahead and pick, I'm going to think I'm going to pick this dark yellow for that one. And I'm going to make, turn that yellow. That is not yellow. Sorry, you guys. I'm going to pick the dark yellow. There we go. Now I'll feel it. Thank you. Hey, that's not bad. I kind of like that color. So Command D, deselect, or Control D, deselect. I have a little bit of an outline on that, but I don't really think that's a problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer with the nose yellow. Command J or Control J or right click. Okay. Uh, sorry. Right click duplicate layer right there. Okay. Um, but what I want with this one is I want this one to be nose red and I'll show you why. Okay. So this is going to be my nose red and you guys, you don't have to do the whole nose and everything. You don't even have to have a face on it if you don't want, but really you should definitely put arms on it because arms are going to help you animate it. All right. So arms red, I'm going to go ahead and pick a fill color and I want this red and there it picked it that time. Okay. And on this one, I do have to grab it first because if I just try to fill it, watch what happens. Oh, never mind. It did what I didn't think it was going to do. So it did fill just where I wanted, but now it looks like a red nose. Check this out. Nose red. And I'm going to go up to my opacity and I'm going to bring the opacity down. And now I have an orange nose because as you know, orange and yellow make red, but these are all in our color scheme. So now I've got pretty much the snowman that I want and I'm not going to put a scarf on it and I'm not going to put shoes or anything on it. And I'm going to show you how to animate it in the next video.